Okay, so I really think that players tend to play Madden from a defensive perspective a little bit backwards. A lot of players are gonna force metas such as Dollar or the 4-3, even 6-1 because they know the blitzes. But when it comes to stopping the run, you oftentimes hear these players complain about RPOs, whether it's handing the ball off or throwing the bubble screen, or just the run game in general giving them problems. The reason I think a lot of players play backwards is because they don't lap gap shoot. So today's video is gonna show you how to stop any run in the game. I'm gonna give you the tools that are gonna turn any defense into the game into a lead run defense let's go ahead and start off here we're gonna start off with an oldie but goodie this is the inside zone out of the gun tight offset tight end and i'm gonna show you that no matter what you run there's a way to get into the backfield now if you guys are dealing with a glowing running back say they have angry runs bo jackson it's imperative that you make sure that your user when you use this tip is going to have the secure tackler or the tackle supreme ability there are a plethora of these cards in the game that have this ability for free i recommend keeping one on your bench that way, when you face this ability, you know that you can bring it down in the backfield. So let's just start off with something super arbitrary. We're going to run Big Nickel over G, just a simple Tampa 2. The thing that I oftentimes preach in a lot of these videos is the manual lock-in trick. Now, to lock in your user, all you do is hit A or X on PlayStation, which brings up the audible UI. And this is for the player on an individual level. You're going to flick the right analog stick up for man coverage. What this does is it brings up another UI that allows you to choose what player your user is going to be manned up. But we're not going to do that. We're actually just going to leave this menu up. And what this does is it locks your user in place. So when I hold this stick, the player is not moving. What we're going to do is we're going to lab a place to stand with our user that the offensive line is not going to be initially targeting us. And because we're holding the stick down when the ball snapped, this is going to give us the perfect ability to jump the snap. So from this stock position, we're actually not going to be able to do too much. Um, we'll snap this ball here. You see, I can kind of kind of fly in. It's, it's not the best and most optimized position to stand. It's a long way to run, but you saw that I was able to jump the snap. So again, you kind of take a look here. I'm using that right kind of seam player here pre-snap. You see, as soon as the ball snapped, I'm immediately flying down. And there's a nice gap that I can shoot here with this particular alignment where this is gonna allow me to make a tackle. We just need to make sure we get our depth correct. We're just gonna move a little bit closer. So I'm gonna kind of hide behind this defensive tackle. And we're just gonna, again, lock in a right stick up. And I'm gonna hold that stick basically down into the inside. So we're gonna fly in through that right A gap. Ball snapped. Would you look at that? I can make a tackle, secure tackler on that Jesse Bates team of the year item is able to take this in a tackle for loss and your opponent now thinks, okay, he's got run defense for this. Now, the truth is a lot of times players will motion. Let's say for instance, maybe we don't know whether or not for certain our opponent is running or passing. Maybe they motion across and create kind of this bunch strong alignment. This is really annoying because maybe I actually want to use her the weak side. Maybe I want to be on Edmonds. It's also very important that you guys learn multiple gap shoots. Well, in that previous example, you may have noticed that there was kind of the left B gap to be shot through. Well, in this example, if I were to try to use her gap shoot straight down through this B gap, you're going to see that the guard instead takes me. So we know that if I'm using this player, I need to find a new location to be able to stop the run. So what we're going to do here is we're going to run that same motion. I'm going to motion Irvin across. And because I know that that B gap is going to be blocked if I stand right here with Edmonds, we're going to offset. We're going to go out here. And the reason we want to go out here is because we know on run plays that the left guard and the center want to block on the defensive tackle in the left A gap. That leaves the left tackle to block Collins. And this is going to open up a gap for us to fly in with Edmonds. All I have to do is avoid the slot receiver. So once again, I'm going to hit A, lock in my user, and hold down and inside through that left B gap to be able to fly in. And would you look at it? I've got another gap shoot from the exact same coverage that I can use. So whether you want to use her this guy on the weak side, or you want to go out here and use her this guy on the strong side and fly through the B gap, you know that you have tools available to you that you can go ahead and gap shoot with. Now, again, presence of slot receivers, all these little tweaks on the fly, those things are going to matter. But in general, you'll be able to find gap shoots that are going to allow you to stand where you need and be able to fly in and make tackles, or if they block you, they're gonna get other players to the ball. This is gonna help improve your run defense. But of course, this isn't just 
against shotgun runs. This is something that you guys can run against other RPOs as well. Once you find where to stand against a certain run style, so for instance, that last example was an inside zone, you're basically gonna be able to do this against any inside zone, and that includes RPOs. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys are giving this video a thumbs up. If this video gets 250 likes, I will show you guys one of my favorite run defenses in all of Madden 24. Let's see if you guys can hit that goal. Now, the other thing that I'm going to show you guys in today's video is something that hints towards my latest vault update over on my strategy website, gridirongameplans.gg. The big nickel over G has a run pass tell. That means that based off of my play art, I can tell whether or not you are running or passing the football. This is a huge breakthrough, albeit a little bit late in the Madden season. If you guys are still rocking with me, you definitely will want to check that out. Go check it out. It's in our April vault. It's dropping today. $9.95 a month unlocks the entire website. Well over 230 vault videos, 11 offensive and defensive game plans in a members only discord. So as I mentioned, we obviously know that we can stop the RPO inside zone with the same gap shoot as the inside zone. So what we're going to do here is kind of prepare for the bubble screen by playing a baseline and pressed hard flat over on the left. And then I know that I've got a couple of options. If I want to go stand over here and kind of try to fly in through this right a gap, that's going to afford me that opportunity. We make a tackle for loss, but let's say in whatever scenario we're in our opponent is doing a good job of manipulating us from a passing perspective when we're using baits we want to make sure that he's an ai player we also have this gap shoot available where we can go stand over here and again fly in through the middle and our secure tackle will do the rest against the glowing bo jackson so again as long as you know where to stand against the run style it doesn't matter what formation they're in you basically are going to be able to hit those gaps clean one thing that i will say is huge when you're trying to lab where to stand the closer you are the more targeted you are if you can find the furthest distance away or offset that you can stand that opens up a gap for you and makes the guards not look at you your run defense is going to become that much better so when we talk about dollar a lot of players basically kind of run this and they want to run this a gap blitz meta where typically the left of screen linebackers blitzing and they stand down here this doesn't make you a very good gap shooter because again you're so close to the line that they're just going to be able to block you now right there in this example the linebacker was freed up to make a tackle so everything was good but if you guys are trying to make a play with your user one thing a lot of players don't realize is that when you stand super far back i'm talking like seven eight yards off the ball they actually don't really look at you and this allows you to come in super clean now again right there you actually saw that I didn't have a secure tackler, so Bo Jackson was able to break that tackle. But again, if I were to make sure that I have a secure tackler in that spot, we kind of realized that standing right here invites the run, but it's also not gonna really be something where they block you. And if you can win that tackle battle or get that secure tackle ability, you're gonna be fine. The other thing that a lot of players don't realize is that kind of standing over here and off shooting through this B gap is also something you could do as well. So if you guys kind of clog the lanes at the point of attack and dive in through the backside B gap, you guys can find gap shoots in any defense. So a lot of players are kind of lazy when it comes to their dollar run defense. I will say dollar is not a great run defense, but any defense in the game can be good run defense when you know how to gap shoot, where to stand, how to lock in and use the correct abilities. This is the biggest issue that faces so many players when you play the game online. And I just don't understand why players are so stubborn as it pertains to this i would probably say that it comes down to they really want to blitz this guy and you know crash up and and do all these little a gap blitz metas out of stock plays and then because they're down here occupying they don't have much of a gap shoot game but the truth is is if you kind of lab this up the right way you're going to be able to find some stuff that you know will surprise you again right here you see Wow, look at that. We got a clean gap shoot. We were able to loop around the guy, stand back. It made the targeting look at us because we were flying down to the edge and somebody else made a play. Just some lucky stuff that really isn't that lucky when you think about it. If you're practicing where to stand, kind of labbing your defense individually against a specific run scheme, you're gonna be all the better. Let me give you another example of a run that I hear so many players claim is impossible to stop. Stretch alert lucky, whether it's out of the single back wing slot out of the Philly playbook, or maybe this is the Jets playbook with the single back wing pair with all those crazy tight ends over to the right side. Let's go right back to my defense because I've already labbed this. We know that in the big nickel over G, if we pinch our line and crash down and lock in right here with Jesse Bates, we can actually run down and around the defensive end and come straight down and all the tight ends will actually block outside to the right leaving a giant gap for us so when we snap this ball you're going to see that i can fly in and boom we make our tackle on the backfield 
I didn't have to compromise or run blitz and give up extra players in coverage. It was just honestly a little four man rush. And the truth is, if you wanna drop extra players in coverage, as long as you understand what players need to be rushing in front of you to eat the blockers up, that's gonna make it so you can still gap shoot. So you see right here, here's a little three man rush and we're able to gap shoot it all the same. Again, this is a run players complain about left and right. I mean, you see people say, oh, they're in wing pair. I love wing pair because I know I've won the game already because I put in three minutes to lab a gap shoot where I'm ignored in the backfield. You know, you're gonna have obviously abilities to be able to stand back or maybe you wanna run a, you know, a spread line. You know, let me lab something on the fly here. I swear, I don't even know how to do this. Let's go ahead and stand back behind. I wanna see if I can get the center to block this away and try to slide in through the backside A gap. And you see right there, okay, they're looking at me. But what did that do on the fly as it pertains the defensive line? You take a look at the instant replay. With them targeting me, you see that there actually is a front side, basically B gap, that if I can get to without the center hitting me, that's where I can aim with this particular user. So again, let's just go right back to that spread D line setup. And I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stand a little bit closer to the center so I can hopefully wrap around it into this right B gap. So we see right here, all right, we snap this ball, center trying to get to us. You see that we were almost there. So what does that tell us? The center is getting up to us. Let's stand just a little bit further back on this. Again, spread the line. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of stand maybe back here a little bit. I just wanna get out of that center's initial targeting area so he blocks down on somebody else. You see right there, just a little bit further away, I think that center is gonna go try to block someone else. So again, just a small tweak. Let's go ahead and back up to about seven, eight yards again. I'm gonna bet the center doesn't look at us. And would you look at that? Now I'm clean through the middle. I can keep the line spread. Obviously just clean up our dive animation and we're good to go. So again, it only took me about five reps to find where to stand to open up my run defense for a gap shoot. And that's all you have to do in any defense in this game. So I'm gonna leave you guys there with this. I know that this wasn't like a universal run defensive setup, but I'm giving you the tools to stop any run in any defensive formation. I think that is invaluable because this honestly translates Madden's as well. I've been using this tactic for almost five years now. And it, it's something that I, I'm shocked when people or like, I didn't even know this existed. Well, it's the number one run defensive tip in the game. If you can stop the run, that's gonna lead to more third down and longs. That's gonna allow you to set up your blitzes that you're honestly forcing too much on first and second downs. Be coverage focused, be cognizant of where to stand with your user. Your defense will improve 100%, I promise you. Subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, drop a comment below. Check out Gridiron for the run pass tell that I was talking about in the Big Nickel over G. It's gonna improve your defense even more. I will see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.